Introduction Westward Journey Plus Supermarket Plus Weak System with One Punch Piercing Through the World Barrier, Chiyu found herself in the world of Journey to the West. There are various strange monsters here, punching the monster named Bull Demon King and smashing Wuji Mountain with one punch, rescuing a monkey named Wukong. What? Wukong cried that his flower and fruit mountain had been destroyed, let's go. Master, take you to the heavenly court of the monster headquarters and knock them down with one punch. What? The two major organizations of the heavenly court and the western heaven are so dark. Look at me punching and breaking this order, creating the hero association. In the distance, Guanin hid in the clouds, lost in thought as she watched one person and one monkey below. When did this monk learn to eat meat? When he saw Sun Wukong killing someone, why didn't he stop him and applaud on the side? Oh my goodness, Chen Xuanzang actually helped Sun Wukong dig a pit and bury his body. Where did Chen Xuanzang make Baijiu? He drank it, but he drank it. Amitba Buddha Chapter 1 Leave tomorrow's matters to tomorrow's me. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tang Dynasty, Jingguang Temple Master Chen, the restaurant has served rice. Today we have pickled vegetables and steamed millet. A bald monk sat on a stool in the room, looking at himself in the bronze mirror, lost in thought. Who am I? Where am I? In the eyes of outsiders, Chen Xuanzang is a prominent monk of the Tang Dynasty, with exceptional Buddhist teachings. But he knows for himself that he is not. The world he used to live in was a modern world, and due to urban pollution, genetic mutations, and other reasons, a terrifying creature called a monster was born. They liked to destroy and indiscriminately kill innocent people in the city. In order to deal with these strange people, the previous world government established the Heroes Association, with hero levels divided into S, A, B, and C. And he Chiyu is a glorious C. Level hero, currently ranked 258th. People give nicknames. Bald Cloak Man. Chiyu saw us that day, an asteroid hit the sky over Z City, and S. Level heroes took action one after another, but both missiles and flamethrowers could only scratch it. There's no way, Chiyu herself lives in the uninhabited area of Z City, which is a place where you can meet ghost level monsters when you go out. So the rent is naturally very low. No one dares to charge for the crucial water and electricity bills, let alone rent, which can be said to be very suitable for oneself who is financially struggling. For the sake of his own home, and of course for the citizens of Z City, he Chiyu resolutely took action. Just a punch. Destroyed this asteroid that could destroy Z City. But at the moment of exploding the asteroid, Chiyu noticed a black hole suddenly appearing next to him, and then he fainted. When he woke up again, he became the holy monk of the Tang dynasty, Chen Xuanzang. I'm just a hero driven by my interests. Shaking her head and drawing back her thoughts from her memories, Chiyu picked up a huge rice bowl. I'm here, I'm going to use a basin this time. Chiyu is very upset. This is the Tang dynasty. The monks only eat salty vegetables, steamed millet, kanji and so on. Even with his happy nature, he can't stand it. Master Chen On the way to the Zhaitong, the monks around were very respectful and friendly, bowing to Chiyu. This feeling of being respected makes Chiyu feel pretty good. I filled a pot with rice and poured a spoonful of pickled vegetables on top. I'm going to start. Although Chiyu doesn't know how she traveled through time and doesn't understand why everyone thinks she's Chen Xuanzang, his personality is easy to going and his thick nerves don't even care about these strange things. Moreover, there are no strange people everywhere here, and everyone is very friendly. After eating, the other monks went to do their homework, and Chiyu returned to her room feeling bored. The little monk knocked on the door and said to Chiyu, Master Chen, the abbot is looking for you. Oh. Chiyu has also been to a temple in Z City, knowing that the abbot means the temple leader. Following the little monk to the abbot's room, I looked at the abbot meditating and reciting scriptures on the bed, feeling a bit unsure of what to say. 
After a few minutes, the abbot finished reciting the Heart Sutra. Opening his eyes, he looked at Chiyu. Xuanzang, Emperor Li Shimin of the Tang Dynasty is going to hold a land and water conference. He has appointed you to preside over this grand event. Your Buddhist cultivation can be said to be unprecedented. I can rest assured that this matter will be entrusted to you. This. Chiyu felt a bit embarrassed and touched her head. How should I tell him the truth? Actually, I've been very busy lately. Can I ask someone else about this matter? The abbot furrowed his brows, puzzled by why Chiyu refused him. All right, I'll give it a try. Chi Yu was really like telling the abbot that although she looked the same as what you thought of Qin Xuanzang, she wasn't really him. Just like the operating system, you think I'm Win 98, but in fact, I've secretly upgraded. Now I'm Win 11. On the back mountain of Jingguang Temple, Qi Yu discovered a magical thing. There are strange people in this world. Dead bald donkey, let go of me. A rabbit with red eyes and speechless words startled Chiyu. He was a bit tired of being a vegetarian, and found that there were many small animals on the back mountain of Jingguang Temple. He had originally planned to catch a rabbit and make tempura stir fried rabbit meat. But this rabbit can actually speak. Oh, you can talk. Chiyu grabbed the rabbit's leg and stared at it curiously. Dead bald donkey, you don't follow the rules and regulations. What are you looking at? Haven't you seen the mother rabbit? Let go of me. Chiyu let go and something even more surprising happened. That rabbit not only spoke, but also emitted a burst of white smoke and turned into an 18.19 year old girl. This. Chiyu looked at the girl in front of her with some confusion. She was dressed in white like snow and had two rabbit ears on her head. At this moment, she looked very angry. Still a weirdo. I once saw a mosquito monster that specialized in sucking people's blood, but it never happened again. Chiyu touched her chin calmly, it seemed that there were strange people in both the original Z city and the current world. It seems that I can continue to be a hero. He stood up, turned around and walked towards other places, after all, eating a strange person who could turn into a rabbit was still a bit difficult to swallow. Seeing Chiyu leaving, Rabbit Spirit was a bit annoyed. When did Hu Xiaoya, who studied under the Jade Rabbit Spirit, suffer from this anger? The story of journey to the West has spread throughout the demon world. Everyone says that eating a bite of Tang Monk's flesh can lead to immortality, although it is unknown where this rumor came from. But most of the monsters believed it. Because Tang Monk is the reincarnation of the Golden Cicada. Jin Chanzi is a disciple of the Tathagata Buddha, he really hammered. Eating can lead to longevity. However, there is a powerful warning to the entire demon world that when Tang Monk is within the territory of the Tang Dynasty, no monsters are allowed to harm him. So the Great Tang Dynasty is about equal to the safety zone of Tang Monk. The monsters are all eagerly waiting for Tang Monk to step out of the territory of the Tang Dynasty. After learning about this from her master, Hu Xiaoya, the newborn calf, fearless of tigers, decided to cut off her beard. After crossing the mountains and mountains to reach Jinshan Temple, I found that the Buddha's light was enveloping here. Not to mention entering Jinshan Temple, it was uncomfortable even when approaching. But for the sake of longevity, Hu Xiaoya still turned into a little rabbit, intending to catch a monk and ask Tang Monk where he is. As a result, I met Chiyu. Monk, do you know who Tang Monk is? It's Jiang Luer, Grand Master Qin Xuanzang. Have you ever seen him? Upon hearing this, Chiyu stopped and touched her head, feeling uncertain and self-doubting, saying, Jiang Luer, Qin Xuanzang, it should be me. Hu Xiaoye looked incredulous. What are you joking about? Chen Xuanzang has the highest Buddhist cultivation and is awe-inspiring both ancient and modern. He is a virtuous monk, and you are like a warrior. He took out a dagger from his sleeve and gestured to Qi Yu. I studied under the guidance of China Jade Rabbit Spirit, and now I am under the command of the Bull Demon King to listen to it. Little monk, although you may have some luck, 
I was accidentally caught by you just now. Raise your hand and tell me where Chen Xuanzang is. Otherwise, I'll kill you. Chi Yu has no inner turmoil, let's stir fry rabbit meat with Tian Fu Luo instead. Bald donkey, look at the magic weapon. Hu Xiaoye's dagger emitted a silver light and thrust towards Chi Yu's chest. As a result, I saw that my precious blade had only scratched the other person's clothes, and the other person had nothing to do. Oh no, this monk is a master. Chi Yu lowered her head to look at her torn clothes and whispered, It's been three times. What? Hu Xiaoye didn't hear clearly. I said you called me bald donkey three times. I'm bald because I want to be a hero with my interests, which is the result of my fitness exercise. Besides, I'm still handsome without hair, why are you targeting me? After speaking, he pulled up Hu Xiaoye's wrist. Let's go. Like a shooting star flashing by, Hu Xiaoye disappeared in an instant. Chi Yu looked at the sky angrily. At this moment, the little monk ran all the way to Chi Yu's side and said, panting, Master Chen, the abbot is looking for you. It seems like tomorrow's land and water conference. Chi Yu waved her hand irritably. Leave tomorrow's matter to tomorrow's me. Chapter 2 Bull Demon King, would rather have seeds. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tomorrow is coming. Chiyu looked bewildered as the little monk helped her tidy up her clothes and glanced at the bronze mirror. Lips red and teeth white, face like crown jewels, but eyes a bit dull. A somewhat bewildered expression. Wearing a robe and a Buddha crown on her head, Chiyu looked at the dark crowd below. Believers are all devout and waiting to hear Master Chen Xuanzang explain Buddhism. Chiyu is a bit flustered. He doesn't know Buddhism. His best skill is to kill the enemy with one punch, and then take advantage of the supermarket discount to buy some ingredients to make delicious Shoshi Shao. Can I explain to everyone 100 ways to make Shoshi Shao? I don't know if that will result in being beaten. Respectfully invite Master Chen Xuanzang of the Great Tang Dynasty to promote Buddhism. Everyone looked at Master Xuanzang sitting on the stage in silence, feeling a bit strange. They didn't know what was wrong with Master Xuanzang. At this moment, there was a commotion outside the temple, and a group of ceremonial guards gathered around Emperor Li Shimin of the Tang Dynasty, walking with a majestic and domineering gait. Emperor Li Shimin of the Tang Dynasty is here. The abbot of the temple quickly stepped forward to welcome him. Your Majesty the Emperor. The abbot performed a Buddhist ritual and then took Li Shimin to sit down. Then everyone's eyes gathered again on Chi Yu. Chi Yu scratched his head in some distress. He actually wanted to be honest with everyone and tell them that the person you thought Tang Xuanzang was not actually himself. Although we look the same, our inner selves are different. But the sixth sense in the dark told Chi Yu that if he dared to say this, a great terror would surely befall him. But every time this feeling first arrived, Chiyu would clench her fists and want to give a serious punch, and that terrifying feeling instantly disappeared without a trace. Chiyu scratched her bald head and looked around feeling a bit speechless. It seems that the existence that pays attention to oneself is also a bully who fears the hard. Chiyu picked up the Buddhist scriptures, but fortunately he still knew the Chinese characters on them. In his original world, he used Chinese characters as well. I can't read a paragraph for everyone. Feeling the Buddhist scriptures, Chiyu opened the pages and read them with a carefree attitude. I once thought that many emotions would damage my Buddhist journey, and when I enter the mountains, I fear to bid farewell to the city. The law of achieving both ends in the world is not to disappoint the Tathagata, not to disappoint the Emperor. As Chiyu recited, she found silence all around her, and everyone around her stared at her with incredulous eyes. Did I pronounce it wrong? Chi Yu quickly flipped through the pages of the book and found that the title was correct. It was written on the Agama Sutra, but why is the content inside the Agama Sutra like this? Judging from everyone's appearance, this should not be the correct answer. Jie Jie Jie, it turns out that Master Xuanzang was also a fellow disciple of the same path. 
He didn't love Buddha, he loved beauty. At the Dharma meeting, there was a burst of arrogant laughter, followed by a rabbit-headed creature with blood-red eyes and a red-clad rabbit demon jumping down from the roof of the Hall of Propaganda. Monsters! Escort, escort! Protect the emperor! The surrounding crowd scattered and fled in disorder. Amitba Buddha! With a Buddhist chant, an old monk wearing a blue robe shouted loudly, What kind of demon dares to disrupt our land and water assembly? I see that the poor monk has taken you. This voice contains Buddhist teachings, like thunder, and also has the effect of calming the mind and calming the breath. The panicked crowd just now felt as if courage had been injected into their hearts, and seeing the rabbit demon standing in the center of the Dharma meeting felt less terrifying. We have many people, don't be chaotic. The old monk looked at the rabbit demon with a hint of solemnity in his eyes. His dharma eyes can distinguish good and evil. Just now, when he entered the waterway assembly, he saw at a glance that the content of the Ahan Sutra had been tampered with by the demonic power, and the content had been changed. However, he also smiled dumbfounded, after all, Chen Xuanzang was well versed in the scriptures, and since he was young, he has been studying the Ahan scriptures and can now be said to have memorized them fluently. Even if someone changes the content, Chen Xuanzang will not read it wrong. But I didn't expect this guy to read it foolishly. Isn't this a big joke? Has the water and land assembly of the Tang Emperor turned into obscene language and slang in the brothels and railings? Did Xuanzang be confused? This rabbit demon was thrown hundreds of miles away by Qiyu yesterday, Hu Xiaoya. Yesterday's sudden dislocation caused her to cry and cry in pain, so she went to find her elder brother, the bull demon king. This bull demon king is also an old pervert. When he saw Hu Xiaoya, who had not yet taken action, being beaten like this, he immediately became a bit angry. However, due to the influence of Buddhism, he still felt that his neck was not as hard. It's okay to try to coax Hu Xiaoya, but I don't know what's going on. Hu Xiaoya opened her mouth and begged him for help and revenge, and went to deal with Qin Xuanzang. Taking advantage of the absence of other monsters within the Tang dynasty, quickly cut off the Hu and bind Qin Xuanzang, and then let them handle whether brazed or steamed. Your Majesty, would it be better for princes, nobles, generals, and ministers to have seeds. We cannot eat what the gods and Buddha have eaten. Long life. At that time, the bull demon king's mind was confused and he followed Hu Xiaoya to the water and land conference. However, by this point, the feeling of being above had worn away. Now, his mood was in a state of turmoil, especially after sensing that there were many Buddhist masters in the waterway conference, he regretted going through this muddy water. But just as he was about to run away, that familiar sense of excitement came back. The immortal Buddha had flat peaches and ginseng fruit fruits to eat. After eating them, he would never suffer from three disasters and five illnesses. How carefree he was! I can't eat what the monk eats anymore. It's better to have seeds. The old ox's eyes turned red, and he held a steel fork and jumped into the middle of the waterway ceremony. With one move, he swept away the crowd and grabbed Chen Xuanzang. Stupid cow, get out of here. The old monk in green waved his Zen cane and deflected the arm of the bull demon king, then stood in front of Qiyu and protected him behind him. Although Chen Xuanzang is said to be the reincarnation of a golden cicada, he is now a mortal body. This is his ninth life, with nine being the extreme number. In this life, Buddhism will flourish. The two of them fought for a few rounds, and the bull demon king seemed to be taking drugs. He was brave and in a mess, and his moves came in exchange for injuries. The old monk in green waved his Zen staff, and the sound of Buddhism came faintly from his body as he opened and closed his moves. Stubborn as a rock, he pushed the bull demon king in front of him, preventing him from advancing any further. Little ones, kill Tang monk and you will have eternal life. As the bull demon king saw himself trapped, he let out a loud cry and called out for his subordinates to come out and help. Suddenly, the ground around him collapsed into holes, 
and then one mole after another, a demonic spirit, took the lead in charging out. In an instant, a demonic wind swept through the waterway venue, and monsters with wolf heads, bear heads, and pig heads all attacked Chi Yu with weapons such as large knives and spears. Watching so many strange people start over to her, Chi Yu was really happy. After reading the scriptures myself just now, everyone looked at me with that kind of, you're not a serious monk. He was really panicked at that time. It's just awkward. When they were at a loss, these strange people emerged from all over like divine weapons descending from the sky, rescuing their awkward selves. They are all family members. Chapter 3 Ordinary Fist You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chiyu looked at the goblins with open teeth and claws, their faces as green as ghosts. Not only did she not feel afraid, but she even leaned forward. The old monk in green clothes waved his zen stick more widely and enveloped more monsters, feeling somewhat speechless. Why is he not afraid? Looking at Chen Xuanzang with a slightly excited expression, the old monk in green clothes couldn't understand. Is it caused by the mystery of the ninth reincarnation in the womb? Yes, even if this mystery is a fairy, it is inevitable. As soon as the reincarnation cycle enters, Meng Po's soup becomes stronger than three sitting luns. Instantly blurred. Anyway, even if he's foolish, he must go to the west. The old monk in green was slightly distracted, and the general under the bull demon king, the bull-headed monster, attacked Chiyu's chest with a steel gun. Pushi, amidst the astonished gazes of the crowd, the bullhead monster also looked at the steel gun in his hand with an incredulous expression. Chiyu held the gun head and from everyone's perspective, it was as if Chin Xuanzang had really been inserted. Xuanzang. The old monk in green pushed back the bull demon king with one move, and the golden light of Zen in his hand converged. When it was dazzling, he fiercely struck the Zen staff, causing the ground to split into pieces. Like an earthquake, it pushed the surrounding monsters out a hundred meters. Then he hurried to the side of Chen Xuanzang and observed his injuries. I can't say that I will go to Wuzhuang Temple today or ask for pills that can bring the dead back to life or ginseng fruit. But the ginseng fruit five village temple has been set up. It is not only a disaster on the way to the west, but also can weaken the authentic rules. Kill two birds with one stone. What should I do? The corner of his eye swept over the bull demon king, and the cold expression in the old monk's eyes made the bull demon king shiver. The devil is causing me great trouble. The old monk in green grabbed Chiyu's shoulder and used his magic to plan to take him away from this place. He went to the heavenly court to borrow a nine-turning soul returning pill from the supreme lord to save his life. But when the old monk in green pulled, he found that the other person remained motionless. Ha! Huh. The old monk in green was uncertain and couldn't help but grab it with all his might. With this grab, even a high mountain would be lifted up by him. But at this moment, the other party seems to have taken root on the ground, no matter how hard they exert themselves, they have no reaction at all. Chiyu looked at the old monk in green clothes who was holding on to her, scratched her head in some distress, and then a pile of powder exploded from the gun in her hand. Oh my, it's too hard. He looked at the bull-headed monster with some distress and casually threw the weapon without a gun head aside. Then he turned his head to look at the old monk in green clothes. Grandpa, don't pull it anymore. If you pull it, your clothes will break. It will make me very distressed. It seems like this is just one piece of clothing for me. The old monk in green casually released his hand, his expression flashing in his eyes, unsure of what he was thinking. The bull demon king outside has now been robbed, and his mind is full of killing Tang Monk. It would be better if he had the courage. If I had seen such a strange thing in my daily life, I would have fled quickly. But at this moment, what he was thinking was that after eating Tang Monk's meat, he would live a life of unity with the heavens, and from then on, he would be free from all three disasters and roam freely between heaven and earth. Little ones, go up to me, grab Tang Monk, and I'll share his thigh. 
From then on, longevity is on par with heaven and on par with heaven. After hearing this, many little demons felt like they had beaten chicken blood. After a slight chill, everyone boiled like pouring a cup of cold water into a hot pot. Kill Tang Monk and eat meat. Give it all to me. The old monk in green snorted coldly and struck his zen stick heavily. Although many little demons are afraid, they still keep moving forward and getting closer. If it were just a little demon, they might have run away long ago, but now that we are together, we have the courage to join forces. Everyone, he only has a zen cane and can still kill everyone. Yeah, I look so handsome, it looks like I have a long life. It's definitely not me who died. Chiyu looked at the chaos around her, and many pilgrims and monks had been killed by strange people. Her naturally stunned expression slowly turned into a serious expression. Stepping up to the old monk in green, he faced countless little demons. At this moment, a dark cloud drifted in the sky, completely covering half of the sun. The demons were shrouded in black smoke, and the uncovered sunlight scattered on Chiyu, casting a layer of golden light over her body. Darkness and light are in opposition, and Chiyu is like a fairy descending to earth. A regular punch. A fierce gust of wind surged up from Chiyu's side like thunder on the flat ground, and the robe on Chiyu's body drifted backwards violently. A wave of air shot forward in the direction of the fist. Bang! The entire gate of Jingguang Temple, along with all the demons and monsters, was swept away. Instead, there is a huge trench several hundred meters long and two meters deep. Li Shimin, the abbot, the old monk in green clothes, and the pilgrims were so shocked that their mouths couldn't close. With a clang, the bull demon king opened his mouth wide and was so lost that he couldn't even catch the weapon in his hand. The steel fork fell to the ground. Just as he was about to pick it up, he noticed that his gaze was all focused on him, and he was not afraid of the others. However, when Chiyu's gaze turned to him, he feels a bit chilly. Well, this senior monk, actually I want to learn Buddhism. Halfway through the waterway conference, such a thing happened, and now it can't be continued. Chiyu felt relieved for a moment, and his whole body relaxed, after all, he had never read any Buddhist scriptures. The abbot, Li Shimin, and the old monk in green sat together, looking at Chiyu and not knowing what to say. After all, this is not the strength and style that Chen Xuanzang should have, and the abbot is even more puzzled. He watched this child grow up from a young age, and when he was young, he was put into a wooden basin by his mother and sailed down the river. After picking it up, I gave it a nickname and called it Jiang Liuer. When he reached the age of eight, he left home at Jingguang Temple. From then on, I converted to Buddhism. The whole person also has a pure and kind temperament, showing compassion and kindness. How could it possibly blow out that seemingly groundbreaking punch? Xuanzang, I have watched you grow up since I was young. When did you learn such a spell that you could open the mountain gate with a single punch? Our Jingguang Temple's signboard has been around for hundreds of years, but now it's all gone. The abbot looked at Chiyu puzzled wanting to know how his disciple had become so powerful. The old monk in green and Li Shimin also have ordinary question mark faces, both wanting to know what's going on. Do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 10 kilometer long runs every day. No matter how hot it is, don't turn on the air conditioning. Defeat all kinds of monsters while exercising. As long as you persist, you can become stronger and stronger. Chiyu said seriously. After hearing this, Li Shimin suddenly came to his senses. This training method doesn't sound so difficult, maybe his own soldiers can also train like this. As long as the trained soldiers are half of him, no, one-tenth powerful, then expanding territory is not a problem. Master, what is a push-up? Chapter 4 This treasure is destined for you. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After watching Chiyu demonstrate to everyone in place what push-ups, sit-ups, and squats are, not only did everyone not understand why he was so strong. 
Instead, I became even more confused. The old monk in green clothes had a movement in his expression. This person speaks sincerely, definitely not a lie, but this is too outrageous, isn't it? Xuanzang is no longer a weak and ordinary person. How can he obtain the true scriptures? However, this person carries a destiny and must go on a journey to the West. What should he do? It is necessary to report to the Buddha. The old monk in green laughed at this thought and then spoke loudly. Xuanzang, look who I am. As he spoke, a flash of white smoke flashed through him, transforming him into a male and female Guanin Bodhisattva. The monk beside him also transformed into a lotus child with red lips and white teeth. Guanin holds a jade clean bottle and willow branches. The Buddha's light behind the head is dazzling and sacred, inviolable. Chiyu looked curiously at the greatly transformed living person in front of her, somewhat puzzled by the truth behind it. The abbot and Li Shimin on the side knew who this was. Great compassion and Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva. Many monks around quickly knelt down and shouted Guanin Bodhisattva. Everyone is a believer in Buddhism, with faith in their hearts. Naturally, they sincerely prostrate themselves to the ground, but Chiyu doesn't even know Guanin. Looking at the crowd kneeling around her, she feels a bit confused. What should I do? Guanin looked at Chiyu, who was at a loss, and smiled slightly. You are the reincarnation of the second disciple personally passed down by the Buddha in the Western Heaven. We can discuss our relationship as peers. Then he transformed into a jeweled and precious robe in his hand. This is a brocade robe with seven treasures embedded on it. It is impervious to water and fire, and can defend oneself and drive away trouble. My Zen staff is a nine-ring tin staff, which can also suppress evil spirits. Today, I am giving you both of these treasures. Chiyu looked at the golden robe and tin staff, and did not reach out to pick them up. Instead, she refused and waved her hand. It's too expensive, I can't accept such a valuable gift, and it's also too much trouble for you. To be a virtuous servant, one must have a request, and Chiyu has no relationship with the other party. How could she accept such a valuable gift from the other party? And Chiyu has a loose and loose personality. Apart from maintaining world peace and cracking down on monsters, she really doesn't care too much about these material things. It's good to have a discounted beef meal every few days. After several rejections, Chiyu insisted on not wanting these two treasures. Guanin is a bit anxious. These two Buddhist treasures must be handed over to Xuanzang. If they are not given to him, how can they be sent to the West? With a furrowed brow, Guanin came up with a plan. Seeing that she couldn't handle it head dot on, she planned to use a roundabout strategy. Xuanzang, this treasure is destined for you. When speaking this sentence, Guanin Baoxiang was solemn, and the Sanskrit sound that crossed people's mouths was transmitted to everyone's ears along with the sound waves. After hearing this sentence, everyone naturally felt that this treasure was really related to Chiyu. He cannot hold it unless he does. But Chiyu stood in place like a piece of wood, without any reaction, staring at the crowd around her with widened eyes, hoping to look at her. He suddenly felt a bit confused. Isn't he not influenced by the mantra Sanskrit sound? What's the truth? It's really a strange thing. Guanin suppressed his surprise and persisted in handing over two Buddhist treasures. Chiyu scratched her head and said in a somewhat speechless voice, Actually, I am just a hero driven by my interests. There are too many strange people in this world, and I am just a hero to save the world and search for more powerful opponents. I don't want to cause trouble for others. Guanin looked at Chiyu silently for a long time, then smiled slightly after staring at her for a long time. Continuing slowly, he said, I can't believe Xuanzang, your realm is so high. You don't have yourself in your heart, all you have is great love in the world. Then Guanin sighed, looking a little lonely, and said, But now there are only Mahayana Buddhist sutras, such as Chang Ahan Sutra, Zhong Ahan Sutra, Zeng Yi Ahan Sutra, Za Ahan Sutra, and so on. 
These sutras are for individuals to eliminate their troubles and knowledge barriers, and the highest level is just a golden arhat. How can there be no great love in the world? If people have a bodhi mind, while practicing themselves, they can also popularize all sentient beings in this world, allowing them to be like Buddha and free themselves from the cycle of suffering in this world. This is the true great merit. After finishing these words, Guanin looked at Chiyu and asked seriously. Would you be willing to be a hero to the people of this world, saving all beings who have fallen into the sea of suffering in this world? At this moment, the words spoken by Guanin come from the heart and are incredibly sincere. It is true that she wants Western Buddhism to flourish, but it does not mean that her faith is not firm in her heart. If the path of seeking the Tao is half false, she cannot be called Guanin Bodhisattva for saving lives. Sincerity is the ultimate skill. Chiyu's expression gradually changed from casual to serious. Although he has traveled and the world has become a different world, his true intention has not changed. Although his emotions have become like a straight line with his strength, it does not mean that he has not persisted in his heart. This persistence is justice, indomitable, and gives the impression of looseness in personality, but in reality, he is a passionate man with a high awareness of the identity of a hero, and cannot tolerate others blaspheming the identity of a hero. It's really frustrating, I just chose to be a hero because of my interest. Because I want to be a hero. Chi Yu looked at the expectant eyes of the people around her, and there was a certain atmosphere that had already been heightened, not accepting the feeling of sorry to everyone. Then I'll accept it. Arigato. Bowing slightly, Chi Yu took the two Buddhist treasures handed to him by Guanin with both hands. Seeing Chi Yu finally accept the nine ring tin stick and the brocade colorful cassock, Guanin finally breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. I thought it would be an easy task to have Jean Cicada's reincarnation go to the West to obtain scriptures, but I didn't expect Qin Xuanzang to have such amazing strength now. Guanin looked at the mountain gate of Jinguang Temple, which had turned into a deep ditch, and looked at Qi Yu with a headache. But what should be said still needs to be said. Xuanzang, the Mahayana Buddhist scriptures are at the Great Thunder Sound Temple in the Western Heaven. Would you be willing to retrieve the true scriptures for the sake of sentient beings and create a great love for humanity? Chi Yu looked at Guanin speechlessly. He had a lazy personality and really didn't like to walk around. And it feels like Guanin's speech is too stiff, as if there are some bad things inside. Actually, I'm quite good at Jingguang Temple. It feels like it's a far place in the West. Chi Yu refused without even thinking about it. When he was in Z City, he lived in the suburbs. Firstly, there were many strange people there, and secondly, the cheap rent was very suitable for him as a otaku. Huh, Xuanzang, you don't know anything. Within a hundred miles of this Jingguang temple, everything is safe and sound all year round. This is the capital of the Tang dynasty, Chang'an, where the strange people you speak of come from. If you want to slay demons and eliminate them, I heard that the journey to the west is not peaceful. At this moment, Tang King Li Shimin suddenly spoke up and provided an assist for Guanin. He is the emperor of the mortal world, and has experienced much more human and worldly wisdom than Chiyu. At this moment, when he saw the Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva's extraordinary voice, he knew that Avalokitesvara wanted to persuade Qin Xuanzang to visit the Great Thunder Sound Temple in the Western Heaven and obtain the true scriptures. Moreover, upon hearing the meaning of Mahayana Buddhism, it should be able to benefit all sentient beings. This is a good thing that benefits the country and the people. As an emperor in the human world, we must support the affairs of the few side in terms of both emotion and reason. Chapter 5 Liangjie Mountain was formerly called Wuxing Mountain. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Two days have passed since the Waterway Conference, and with the persuasion of Li Shimin and Guanin, Chiyu has decided to go to the west. Firstly, according to Li Shimin, the area around Jingguang Temple is similar to the city center, and there are no strange people at all. Secondly, Chiyu has been in this world for several months now, and he also wants to take a walk around. 
since he can solve the strange people on the way to the West and obtain the Mahayana Buddhist scriptures to help sentient beings. He seems to have no reason not to go. However, it seems that the guy named Li Shimin was too enthusiastic. After learning that he was determined to go to the West to obtain scriptures, he insisted on making himself sworn brothers. After several evasions, they still became sworn brothers with great affection. He is the older brother, and Chiyu is the younger brother. On the eighth day of the ninth lunar month, it is advisable to get married and travel. Li Shimin held Chi Yu's hand as he bid farewell to Jun Ting outside Chang'an City. My younger brother has traveled a long distance to retrieve the Mahayana Buddhist scriptures for the people of the Tang dynasty. This move has benefited the present and the future. Although I am deeply reluctant to part ways, I still have no choice. The journey is far away, and I am giving my younger brother a purple gold bowl as a gift. It is sturdy and durable, and can be used for self-defense when encountering criminals. You can beg for food in daily life, and if not possible, you can exchange it for property to continue moving forward. After Li Shimin finished speaking, he took the purple gold bowl from the waiter's hand and handed it to Chiyu. Then take out a book and continue speaking. This is our Tang Dynasty clearance document. Our Tang Dynasty is a heavenly kingdom with great power overseas. With it, any country will give you a thin face. If anyone dares to make things difficult for you, please send someone to notify me, and I will destroy those small countries to vent my anger on your behalf. Chiyu widened her eyes and looked at the clearance document, then curiously asked, what if it's a strange person? It's the demon and ghost in your mouth. Li Shimin couldn't help but smirk, without saying a word, and led a white horse. This is a thousand-mile treasure horse, named, Chasing the Wind and Chasing the Moon. It is also given to my younger brother as a prop. Then Li Shimin looked at Chiyu with some emotion, holding her hand. Brother Yu, the journey to the west is far away, it's been a hardship for you. Chiyu awkwardly withdrew her hands, big brother was really too enthusiastic. Turning over and getting on the horse, I looked around curiously. To be honest, this is also Chiyu's first time riding a horse. This horse was trained and felt someone on him, so he happily led Chiyu towards the distance. My younger brother, I would rather recite a handful of soil from my hometown than ten thousand tales of gold from another place. Big brother is waiting for you to return from the west. Looking at Chiyu's back, which had already gone far and was almost invisible, Li Shimin breathed a sigh of relief. Recently, he has been under a lot of pressure, and all the immortals and monsters have come to his Tang dynasty. Although they didn't say it, Li Shimin had already guessed that it was the holy monk Chen Xuanzang. When Guanin advised Qi Yu to go west, Li Shimin's spiritual light flashed. If Chen Xuanzang left the Tang dynasty, then trouble would follow the holy monk. For the sake of the common people of the Tang dynasty, I have suffered the hardships of the holy monk and his younger brother. And I gave him a clearance document, which must be stamped and stamped when he goes to other countries. When he comes back, I will check the clearance document to know whether the journey to the West is true or not. I don't want it to be like this either, but my younger brother has such a lazy personality. Just take a look around and tell me that he has been to the West. This kind of thing also has to be guarded against. Looking at the distant sunrise, Li Shimin was filled with emotion. Younger brother, go well, you carry the burden, I lead the horse, welcoming the sunrise and sending off the sunset. Throughout the journey, Chi Yu stayed up at night and the days were ordinary. With a playful mindset, she wandered and stopped casually, and soon arrived at the border of the Tang dynasty. After inquiring with others, Chi Yu arrived at Liangjia Mountain. After crossing two mountains, the Tang Empire emerged. Not long after walking forward, Chiyu saw a large river that stretched endlessly, blocking the road to the west. However, although the river was long, it was not wide enough. You can still see the other side at a glance. It is estimated that if the original Qin Xuanzang had crossed the river, he would have had to spare several tens of miles. 
However, Chiyu looked at the not too wide river and picked up the white horse, then continued to exert force on his legs. A beautiful parabola, Chiyu has already stood across the river. White horse looked shocked, and it was also the first time in his life that he had flown to see a different scenery. Oh, how come these two realms of mountains look like their palms are upside down, and the colors in the mountains are clearly different? The colors are red, yellow, white, black, and green, as if they are composed of huge stone palms. Chiyu looked at the two mountains in front of her and was amazed, as the world was vast and full of wonders. Master! Master! In the distance, there were faint shouts, which echoed faintly into Chi Yu's ears with the sound of the wind. What sound? Did I hallucinate? As we approached the mountain, the sound gradually became clearer. Master, master, here and here. Chi Yu opened the grass and saw a monkey head protruding from the stone. This monkey only has one monkey head exposed outside the rock, and the rest of its body is sealed inside the mountain rock. The monkey head is covered with flowers and plants. It looks so pitiful. A talking monkey that looks a bit like the robotic gorilla of Monster House. I'm not sure if you're of the same breed. Chiyu curiously pointed at the monkey with her finger. Master, don't tap my nose. Let me out quickly, I'll protect you from the west to obtain scriptures. Chiyu squatted on the ground, feeling somewhat speechless. You are all trapped under the mountain, how can you bless me? Besides, I don't need any strange people to protect me. Master, I've already told you not to tap my nose, it's very itchy. You are a holy monk from the Eastern Tang Dynasty, and you are going to the Western Heaven to seek the true scriptures, right? The monkey saw that Chiyu was just curious about him and even pointed at him in a silly way, but he had no intention of letting himself go. He immediately spoke up. I am Sun Wukong, the great sage of Chi Tian who caused a great disturbance in the heavenly palace five hundred years ago. He was punished by the Buddha of the Western Heaven for violating the heavenly rule and has been trapped at the foot of these five elements mountains for five hundred years. A few days ago, I was inspired by Master Guanin to recognize you as my teacher and ensure that you go to the Western Heaven to seek the true scriptures. After listening, Chiyu immediately knew what was going on. So you're the apprentice arranged for me by the beautiful sister who can transform into an old monk, Chiyu nodded and then looked at the monkey, which was pressed tightly in the stone. But you're trapped in the mountains now, how can you come with me? Chiyu scratched her head and then looked at the entire Liangjia mountain. Master, what you don't know is that these two realms mountains used to be called the Five Elements Mountains. In recent years, the Tang Empire has risen and only renamed them after capturing this area. Now, all you need to do is wait until you reach the top of the mountain, remove the suppressed talismans, and leave the rest to my grandson. Chapter 6 Is terrible, the seal is missing. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chi Yu followed the mountain peak twice but she didn't even notice any five element seals, let alone huge yellow talismans, which were written with the six characters, Oum, Ma, N, Ba, Mi, Hum. After circling so many times, I still haven't found any yellow talismans. Perhaps the monkey has been sealed for five hundred years and has developed a mental illness. In theory, both humans and animals are prone to depression if trapped for a long time. Thinking of this, Chiyu couldn't help but feel a little sympathy for the sealed monkey at the foot of the mountain. Arriving in front of the monkey again, Chiyu said with some embarrassment. Cough cough, monkey, I walked around the mountain twice, but there was nothing. Did you remember wrong? The monkey became anxious upon hearing this and quickly activated its magic, but found that its own magic was still being suppressed. This indicates that the seal of the Buddha is still there, not what Chiyu said. Master, please take a closer look. I have used my magic and found that the suppression is still present. Please take a closer look. After all, he has been sealed for 500 years. During these 500 years, he has been exposed to wind, sun, and cold. He has watched the peaches on the peach tree ripen wave after wave, 
but he cannot eat them himself. This kind of pain is even more severe than letting him disappear. Chiyu comforted and touched the monkey's head, then asked curiously. You said you were sealed for five hundred years, so why do you rely on food and drink? After all, in Chiyu's impression, not to mention not eating or drinking for five hundred years, even if he doesn't need three days, he will be hungry and his chest will stick to his back. The monkey felt a bit discouraged and continued calmly. There are always a few days in a year when immortals come from the sky and feed me some iron pills and copper water. After hearing this, Chiyu felt a bit excessive. Even if a strange person did something wrong, just punch him to death. Why abuse him? When she was in Z City, Chiyu met all the stubborn mischievous monsters who only knew how to destroy them and punch them to death. I will never abuse them, after all, that kind of thing is usually something that villains like to do. Chiyu looked sympathetically at the monkey. Stay here and I'll go up the mountain to help you take a look. After speaking, he walked towards the mountaintop again without hesitation. The monkey looked at the back of Cheap Master and couldn't help but be deeply moved. Although this monk was considered a mortal, he was still a person of loyalty. He was the great saint of the heavens, Sun Wukong. He was so imposing when he caused a big disturbance in the heavenly palace. Now, he has been bullied by dogs and his whole body is sealed in the rocks, leaving only his head to let out the wind. Five hundred years, the mulberry fields and the vast sea, even the stubborn stones are covered with moss five hundred years, the vast sea of mulberry fields, with only one heart still alive longing for carefree and carefree, carefree and carefree even if it's a wildfire burning even if it's covered in ice and snow still with unchanged aspirations, at this moment, BGM drifted by, and the monkey's heart was filled with passion. These five hundred years have made him convinced and made his heart die. Never. For such a long time, the monkey constantly scrutinized its past, but upon careful consideration, it became extremely terrifying. Now, upon closer reflection, many things reveal the scent of conspiracy. Yes, it's a conspiracy, it's a conspiracy from beginning to end. At this moment, in the distant grass, a snow-white little rabbit stared at Chiyu without blinking its eyes. Dead bald donkey, let me take a bite of meat to die. The first time we met, he threw me dozens of miles, but in the end, he fell on a stone and almost didn't take a photo. Later, he asked my boss, the bull demon king, to take care of you, but I didn't expect this bald donkey to be so capable of fighting. So many demons were beaten to death by his punch. Unfortunately, you only have a strong physical body like Vitra, and your divine sense is as strong as the scorching sun. What a pity, you don't know magic. You can hide the Buddha's talisman with just a small trick from me. I'll see how you remove the seal. Hee <laughs> hee. Originally, this little white rabbit was the rabbit Jinghu Xiaoye who had a grudge with Chiyu a while ago. She was originally under the command of Chang'e, the jade rabbit spirit, but later ran to follow the bull demon king. As a result, not only was he punished by Chiyu himself, but also her elder brother, the bull demon king, was brutally beaten and finally taken away by Guanyin master. I don't know what the situation is now. Watching the bald mountains swaying aimlessly in the distance, Hu Xiaoye couldn't help feeling a sense of relief in her heart. Chiyu, how could she know about these things? Not only women cannot provoke them, but even female fairies cannot provoke them, otherwise they will cling to you one by one. Make you laugh and cry. Hu Xiaoye watched as Chiyu stood on the mountaintop, seemingly restless as she walked back and forth, making her so happy that she almost wanted to sing mountain songs. Then she saw Chiyu raise her fist high. Fool! What does this fool want to do? Who does he think he is? This is the Five Elements Mountain personally blessed by the Buddha of the Western Heaven. The Five Elements Mountain, which was formed by transforming it with one palm, is sealed by the Five Elements of Gold, Wood, Water, Fire, and Earth, and is constantly growing. In addition, there are Buddhist and Taoist scriptures. The number of people who can be broken in this world can probably be counted with ten fingers. 
The little monk is ridiculous. But then Hu Xiaoye widened her eyes and couldn't laugh anymore. I saw Chi Yu's high fist suddenly drop and then shout loudly. Take it seriously. As if heaven and earth were breaking apart again, a loud noise comparable to a nuclear explosion came, followed by a visible wave of air, as if the most intense gust of the eye of the storm was howling in. In an instant, the world changed color, and the Five Elements Mountain, representing the strongest seal in the world, cracked open with a loud bang. The monkey sealed at the foot of the mountain instantly felt that the seal that suppressed him had been broken, and his magical power was flowing like a flowing river without any obstruction. Surrounded by spiritual energy, the milk swallows rushed towards the monkeys like returning to the forest. Good time. The monkey let out a loud shout, which was filled with his accusation of being imprisoned for five hundred years. He represents his rebellion against this world. I am Sun Wukong, the great sage of Chi Tian, in the water curtain cave of Huagua Mountain. Open it for me. Sun Wukong's body shone with infinite golden light, and the surrounding rocks that suppressed him could no longer suppress him. Due to the melting of ice and snow, it is generally dissipated by golden light. Then there was an explosive flash, and another earth-shattering roar. After being punched in half by Chi Yu, the Five Elements Mountain was directly shattered into powder by Sun Wukong. A golden light rose from the sky, flashing into the mid-air clouds. Ha ha ha! My grandson has finally come out. Chi Yu was also startled by the sudden appearance of Sun Wukong, and quickly jumped to the edge of the explosion. Then he saw Sun Wukong dancing in the sky and transforming into a golden light descending from the sky, landing in front of him. Master, I'm out. The monkey in front of me is much shorter than myself, about 1.5 meters or 1.6 meters tall, with smooth fur all over his body. Although his expression is very friendly, his rebellious and unruly appearance can still be seen from his bones. There are no strands all over the body, but fortunately, the monkey's fur is very thick and can cover up embarrassment very well. Master, please accept my old grandson's worship. Chapter 7 There is a demonic aura. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Looking at the monkey kneeling in front of her, Chiyu scratched her head with some annoyance, and she took in an apprentice. If we don't count Genos who was recruited in Z City, he should be the first apprentice he received in this world. Well, actually I'm not very good at being someone else's master. You better stand up and talk, don't be too polite. Just get along as friends. Although there are many strange people in Z City where Chiyu lives, overall it is still a modern society, so there is no ancient sense of superiority or inferiority in her heart. Although she has accepted an apprentice, in Chiyu's heart, the apprentice is basically an upgraded version of a good friend. So he just became himself, and his interest led him to become a hero. Because of his dream of becoming a hero, he promised Guanin to go to the West to obtain scriptures and save all beings. There is a washed monk robe in my backpack, and I am taller than you. You should wear it first. You can't go naked, after all, we will always encounter some humans on our journey to the West. Your appearance is a bit inappropriate. Speaking, Chiyu took out the monk's robe from her backpack. Sun Wukong's eyes lit up when he heard Chi Yu's friend's theory, and he felt that Chi Yu's thoughts were unique and vaguely aligned with his pursuit of the Tao. Taking the monk's robe handed over by Chi Yu, Sun Wukong put it on. However, he was relatively short in height, and when he put on Chi Yu's monk's robe, he looked like a performer, with his long sleeves swaying and swaying. Is there a demonic aura? As soon as Sun Wukong put on his clothes, he noticed a demonic aura flickering in the distance, and his golden eyes flickered. The fiery golden eyes he had forged in the furnace of the Supreme Old Lord saw a rabbit demon dozens of miles away at a glance. Master, there is a rabbit spirit in the distance. We will have roasted rabbit meat tonight when the disciple catches him. After seeing Chi Yu punch the Five Elements Mountain in the distance, Hu Xiaoye's excitement of eating Tang monk's meat turned into shock and fear. Now she only wants to stay away from this monk, preferably never to see him again. 
For example, if your enemy's strength is a bit stronger than yours, then your desire for revenge is extremely strong. If your enemy's strength makes you stand firm, and they can even move their fingers to make you irreparable, then it's better to run quickly. Don't make the other person remember you and then destroy it casually. Hu Xiaoya had just attached the demonic power to her leg and planned to run away quickly when she was discovered by Sun Wukong, who was dozens of miles away. With a flash of golden light, the bald monk with a furry face and a thunderous mouth stood in front of him. Chi Yu looked at the girl with rabbit ears and felt a bit familiar. So it's you, I remember you, a strange person with long ears. Hu Xiaoye really sighed about her poor years. Who would have thought that the Tang Dynasty holy monk with a mortal body could fight so well? If she had known this earlier, how could she have been in this muddy water? I really want to have a bite of the carrot my mom peeled. Hu Xiaoye gave up her struggle. In front of her, she knew a monkey with a furry face and a thunder god mouth wearing a monk's robe. Five hundred years ago, the great sage of Qi Tian, Sun Wukong, who caused a great disturbance in the heavenly palace, was a legend in the demon world. Previously, Hu Xiaoye had also fantasized about meeting her idol, but when her dream came true and she felt the murderous aura emanating from Sun Wukong, she was so nervous that she couldn't say a word now. Sun Wukong took out a golden cudgel from his ear and wanted to end the female fairy with one blow. After all, Sun Wukong is a ruthless person who even lives in the peach blossom garden and wants to eat fairy peaches. What is femininity and can it be eaten? Chi Yu was also able to knock out monsters with just one punch. Watching the monster's flesh and blood scattered everywhere, he saw Sun Wukong pulling out a stick and trying to kill the monster, but he didn't say anything. When a person is about to die, there must be wit. Under the threat of death, Hu Xiaoya hurriedly said, You can't kill me. I'm so cute and lively, and the key is that I didn't provoke you. When she said this, Sun Wukong was stunned. Yes, by this time I had already converted to Buddhism. The years and a watermelon knife used to cut from Peng Lai East Road to Peng Lai West Road have passed. Master is a disciple of Buddhism. If I kill him in front of him, will he blame me? Why not test it out? Sun Wukong moved the golden cudgel away from Hu Xiaoye's head and looked at Chi Yu. The meaning is very obvious, it's up to the master to decide whether to kill or release this monster. Chi Yu thought for a moment, and although the female monster with rabbit ears repeatedly troubled her, she didn't seem to pose any threat. Besides, I haven't seen her kill anyone before. Why don't you bring it with you? It would be great if we had a servant on our way to the west to retrieve scriptures. After hearing this, Hu Xiaoye finally breathed a sigh of relief and quickly retreated behind Chi Yu. I dare not look at Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong ignored Hu Xiaoye at all and casually withdrew the golden cudgel from his ear, then continued. Shifu, my grandson has been trapped here for so long. I want to go back to my hometown, Huagua Mountain, to see my monkey monkey grandson. When I started fighting against the heaven, everyone in Huagua Mountain rebelled against me. Now I'm out of trouble. I can't rest assured if I don't go to see it. After listening, Chiyu nodded and said that no one had set a time for her to go to the west to collect scriptures, so since there was no deadline, there was plenty of time. Okay, I'm fine now. I'll accompany you then, but I don't know how far your flower and fruit mountain is from here. Sun Wukong scratched his head in a monkey-like manner, removed the leaves above his head, and confidently said. Master, don't worry, my old grandson is so skilled in somersaults. He can do it for a hundred or eight thousand miles in a somersault. Although the flower and fruit mountain is far away, it's just a somersault. If he can't do it, he can do it again. After hearing this, Chi Yu became somewhat curious. Although he had been punched from earth to the moon before jumping back and killing the monster with a big jump, he was still very interested in this magical ability. However, he also tried to practice according to the cultivation method mentioned by the abbot, but unfortunately, after reading for only two minutes, Chi Yu fell asleep drowsily. 
Then I'll accompany you to your hometown. It's okay to stay here. If it weren't for Guanin saying that one step at a time is necessary for heading west, I would really want to run over quickly. After discussing with the two, Sun Wukong summoned the somersault cloud and asked Chi Yu and Hu Xiaoye to grab his shoulder. Sun Wukong didn't pinch any magic spells or shout any strange spells, just jumped up in place and then rolled over. Shang Yun instantly appeared at their feet, and the transparent air shield protected the two inside. The scenery outside flashed one after another, and in the blink of an eye, the two of them climbed countless mountains and rivers in the sky. In no time, the three of them arrived at the water curtain cave of Huagua Mountain in Dongxing Shenzhou. On the way, Sun Wukong briefly introduced Huagua Mountain to his master Chiyu. Huagua Mountain is beautiful and beautiful, and it is a rare paradise in the world. It is also one of the many spiritual gathering points in the entire Dongxing Shenzhou. Chapter 8 If there is no retribution for good and evil, there will always be selfishness in the world. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sun Wukong originally planned to happily take his master back to his hometown Huagua Mountain, and then treat his master well, showing his landlord's friendship, so that his cheap master would also know how great he used to be. But when we reached the sky above the flower and fruit mountain, we saw devastation everywhere. The entire flower and fruit mountain had become a scorched earth, and the once water curtain cave was like an ugly old lady without teeth. The cave entrance is bare and looks like an entrance to a coal mine. Once upon a time, all the greenery on Taoshan was gone, and the bare mountaintops were scorched earth burned by flames. Why did my flower and fruit mountain look like this? Why, why? Sun Wukong hurriedly wandered around, shouting wildly like a madman. Suddenly, Sun Wukong turned around and stared at the rabbit demon Hu Xiaoya, then pulled out his golden cudgel and looked at her with red eyes. Say, why did my flower and fruit mountain become like this? No wonder my grandson didn't show mercy and let you disappear from the three realms of the human world. Hu Xiaoya looked at Sun Wukong with red eyes and a peerless demon-like appearance, nervous and stuttering, trembling all over. When Sun Wukong caused a great disturbance in the heavenly palace, he had killed countless heavenly soldiers and generals, not to mention countless unknown little demons who died in his hands during his reign in the demon realm. At this moment, Hu Xiaoya's killing intent moved like a sea of corpses and blood, causing her to feel anxious. Her eyes rolled over and she fainted. Chi Yu looked at the scorched earth in front of her, and a faint smell of sulfur could be heard below. This suggests that the attacker must have penetrated the earth's veins, causing the magma to flow back, in order to turn the human paradise into a human purgatory. Wukong, don't worry. Before Chi Yu could finish speaking, Sun Wukong hurriedly interrupted with a pale face, staring at Chi Yu with red eyes. Today, my flower and fruit mountain suffered from this great calamity. The only forces in the world who could do this were immortals, Buddhas, and demons. The demon tribe is of the same race as me, and they can only kill and invade the land. They will not do anything that destroys their homes and businesses. If it were immortals and Buddhas, even if Sun Wukong disappears from the world, I would still seek justice for my monkey monkey Sunday. Master, if this matter is related to Buddhism, then. If you want to stop me, I won't give face, Master. Sun Wukong is going crazy now. He was imprisoned for five hundred years, but upon returning home, his entire family was destroyed. The whole family's eggs have been shaken and yellowed, and cockroach medicine has been sprinkled on every corner, it's like leaving no trace of it. The tiles do not exist. Calm down. Chi Yu rested her hands on Sun Wukong's shoulders and looked blankly at the newly recruited disciple in front of her. How can you calm me down? My flower and fruit mountain is gone. At this moment, Sun Wukong's heart was filled with anger, and without hesitation, he punched Chi Yu. Chi Yu calmly grabbed Sun Wukong's fist and looked at her poor disciple with pity in her eyes. Sun Wukong was furious and wanted to withdraw his fist but found himself unable to do so. 
The palm on the opposite side was incredibly strong, and in his anger, he punched. Even Erlangshan dared not underestimate it. How did the monk in front of me behave so well? Looking at his cheap master in surprise, Sun Wukong was filled with anger and didn't know who to vent on. He turned around and ran towards Hu Xiaoye. Hu Xiaoye was scared and fainted just now, but was awakened by the argument between Sun Wukong and Chiyu. She was about to continue pretending to be unconscious, but Sun Wukong keenly discovered the fact that she had already woken up. Feeling the anger of the peerless demon king, Hu Xiaoye cried out at a loss, thinking that Hu Xiaoye only wanted to eat a small bite of Tang monk's meat. Why is it so difficult? Wu 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 Wu, crying counts as time. Sun Wukong held up his golden cudgel and looked fiercely at Hu Xiaoye. Tell me the truth you know, I have nothing to do with you, don't force me to hit you. Hu Xiaoye quickly tidied up her mood, suppressed her fear, and stuttered out what had happened over the years. It turned out that after Sun Wukong caused a great disturbance in the heavenly court, a monkey and a stick crushed the entire heavenly court, causing countless deaths and injuries. He lost face in the three realms of the human world and had to go to the western heaven to invite the Buddha to suppress him. Among the heavenly soldiers and generals who were killed in the heavenly court, everyone carried to some extent a sense of relationship and revenge, and this matter became a personal grudge. In addition, the Jade Emperor felt that this flower and fruit mountain had become a spiritual place for the demon tribes in the world to resist the heavenly court. Duan cannot stay, but on the day Sun Wukong was suppressed, a demon-suppressing army led by Tota Heavenly King Li Jing and numerous heavenly immortals such as Erlang Shen Yang Jian rushed straight towards Huagua Mountain. The implementation is the scorched earth policy, leaving the entire flower and fruit mountain with no grass left, becoming a dead end. That night, the killing was extremely dark. Although most of our demon tribes were watching, there were also many who were inspired by the spirit of the king and came to Huagua Mountain to fight to the death against the heavenly court. That night, none of the demon tribes who arrived at Huagua Mountain retreated, dealing a heavy blow to the heavenly court and causing the army that came here to lose almost half of their troops. Although all the demons in Huagua Mountain were wiped out in this battle, from that day on, the flames of resistance from the demon tribe ignited on the continent of Shenzhou. Even today, the demon tribe still refuses to obey the control of the heavenly court and rebels everywhere. Upon hearing this, Sun Wukong burst into tears, which dripped into the scorched earth and raised a speck of dust. Low pressure constantly appeared on Sun Wukong, and the surrounding rocks did not tremble. The sky was covered in dark clouds, and the source of everything was on Sun Wukong, the former great sage of heaven. Master, I can't accompany you to the western heaven to obtain scriptures. The heavenly court has destroyed my flower and fruit mountain. Even if all the waters of the sea are poured out, this grudge will be difficult to wash away. The only thing that can bring peace to their souls may be the enemy's blood. Sun Wukong opened his bright red eyes and stared at Chiyu, saying word by word. At this time, Sun Wukong did not have a tight spell on his head. Although he was imprisoned for five hundred years, the Tathagata even sent people to feed him iron pills and copper juice every day to smooth out his restless thoughts and horses. Smoothing his anger, but at this moment, the hatred of destroying his family and country made Sun Wukong only want to kill the heavenly court again. This time, the heavenly court will not be destroyed, and we will never accept the sword. Well, that's really frustrating. After all, I don't really know the way. Anyway, there's plenty of time. Why don't I accompany you as a teacher? Chiyu comforted Sun Wukong by patting his shoulder. Although Chiyu didn't know where the heavenly court was, what the heavenly court was doing on Huagua Mountain seemed to be similar to terrorists, just like an evil evolution home in Z City. This evil organization must be eradicated. Sun Wukong looked at Chiyu in surprise. He had already learned about Qin Xuanzang's followers from Guanin Master and knew that he was the ninth reincarnation of the Golden Cicada, who had become a monk since childhood. I thought he was a pedantic monk. 
speaking will only persuade oneself not to seek trouble from the heavenly court, and let oneself go with him to the western heaven to obtain scriptures. But never expected that such a great Tang monk would go to the heavenly court with him. With a heavy nod, Sun Wukong and Qi Yu set up a somersault cloud and were about to fly towards the heavenly court. Great sage, why do you want to leave here? Hu Xiaoye looked at Sun Wukong and Qi Yu in shock, feeling that a world that shocked the three realms was about to happen before her eyes. Stepping on the southern sky, shattering the sky. Hu Xiaoye's face was filled with tears as she choked up and asked. If it never comes back. Sun Wukong looked at the sky with only a fierce sense of war in his eyes. I'll never come back. Chapter 9 The Fear of the Past Comes You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Although the three realms of the human world are separated by immortals and mortals, there are still four heavenly gates within the heavenly court that can lead directly to the lower realm, namely the East Heavenly Gate, the South Heavenly Gate, the West Heavenly Gate, and the North Heavenly Gate. These four heavenly gates are revered by the South Heavenly Gate. The South Heavenly Gate, the first gateway of the heavenly court, is the closest gateway to the heavenly court in the human world. Zishinmen, pointing down to Shinyo Hijo, where there are many demons and monsters like stars, but strangely, everyone faces the Buddha. North Tianmen, pointing down to Beiju Luzhou, the landmark building of Beiju Luzhou is Buzhou Mountain. The terrorist incident of Gonggong colliding with Buzhou Mountain occurred here when they couldn't afford it. Dongshanmen, pointing down to Dongxing Shenzhou, connects the East China Sea with numerous immortal islands, including Penglai, Abbot, and others. According to ancient mythology, these immortal islands are all supported by giant turtles, so their positions are unpredictable. Whether they can be seen or not depends on chance. The fastest way to enter the immortal world is through the South Heavenly Gate, and Huagua Mountain is located in Dongxing Shenzhou, so entering the immortal world from here is the most time. Saving. 500 years ago, the demons of Huagua Mountain invaded the heavenly court from here and pulled the Jade Emperor off his horse. Today, Nanchiman is as usual, with a clear sky and a gentle breeze. The growth heavenly king is on duty today, holding a sword in his hand, his eyes half closed and half open, as if he is asleep or not. No matter which level of leadership comes to inspect the post, it cannot be said that the growth heavenly king is fishing in the water. How about going for a drink with the brothers after finishing work today? A soldier on duty tilted his head and whispered to his companions beside him. Good, but it's best to get a few jars of immortals drunk. Drinking other drinks is boring. Since becoming a heavenly soldier, if you drink any strong liquor from the mortal world, you won't get drunk no matter how much you drink. This immortal is not always good. The Tianting soldier excitedly answered. Shu, don't disturb the grow heavenly king to sleep. We'll go together after work. Others don't know the details, how come these brothers who are on duty every day in the heavenly court don't know that the grow heavenly king is just slacking off and sleeping while on duty, and this guy is still half squinting his eyes while sleeping. It seems like he's staring ahead with his eyes open, but in fact, he doesn't know where to dream of Zhou Gong. The South Heavenly Gate is the main gate of the heavenly court. Apart from monkeys from 500 years ago, where would anyone come here without their eyes to cause trouble? It's another peaceful and peaceful day. The soldier let out a sigh and then fantasized about the dance of China at the peach banquet. TSK TSK, that was so beautiful. As the guards of the South Heavenly Gate were staring at the white clouds in the sky, a soldier suddenly noticed a black spot in the distance. Then he saw a monkey with a furry face, Lei Gong's mouth, and a monk's robe flying towards the South Heavenly Gate with golden auspicious clouds. Chi. 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 Tian De Sheng, the soldier's spear was so startled that it fell from his hand and coincidentally hit the foot of the growing king. Awakened the pain of the growing heavenly king who was dreaming of Duke Zhou. You're not on duty well, you can't even hold a weapon steady. I'll definitely see you in front of the Jade Emperor. 
As the heavenly king's aura grew, he pulled the little soldier and opened his mouth, spewing wildly. As a result, seeing the soldier tilting his head in fear and looking forward, the heavenly king of growth suddenly felt uncomfortable. He followed his gaze and couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water. Monkey. Damn it, that monkey again. The heavenly king of growth held the magic weapon wisdom sword and pointed at Sun Wukong with some anger. Splashing monkey, weren't you suppressed by the Buddha at the foot of the Five Elements Mountain? How did you escape? Five hundred years ago, the nightmare of the Heavenly King of Growth was the monkey that killed all four directions in the Heavenly Court. They had never fought together, but instead were beaten all over their heads by this monkey. It took several decades for it to fade away, and it has always been seen that they are inevitably ridiculed. This has simply become their dark history. For a period of time, the heavenly king went down to the mortal world to work, and when he went to Mount Amei, he saw a group of monkeys with immature intelligence. These monkeys had a bad personality and often attacked passers-by. They would show their teeth and claws when they saw people, and even rob passers-by to eat. Later, he went to the Wooling Mountains again and found that there was a kind of golden monkey that was cute and well-behaved. Even passers-by didn't get angry when they touched him, and he ate it as soon as he was given food. He even bowed and bowed. Combining these two types of monkeys, the heavenly king of growth discovered that Sun Wukong had the appearance of a golden monkey and had the bad personality of an amay macaque. Two in one. Today, seeing the monkey splashing once again come to the south heavenly gate with great momentum, the heavenly king of growth suddenly felt a thump in his heart. Are we going to repeat the old story of 500 years ago today? I don't know if I can withstand it. Just as he was about to open his mouth and speak, Sun Wukong didn't even respond when he heard the monkey splashing. He swept over with a stick and only heard a bang. The king of growth was swept out like a baseball by Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong, you cannot force yourself to break through the south heavenly gate. The sound is getting farther and farther away. A soldier next to him quickly grabbed another soldier who wanted to rush out, pressed him to the ground, and covered his mouth. Oops, pretend to be dead, don't talk. Sun Wukong struck down with a few sticks, and all the soldiers around him stumbled and died in battle. Even if there are new stunned youths, they are still being pulled and suppressed by the veterans. Looking at the golden plaque with three big characters on the South Heavenly Gate, Sun Wukong swung a stick and turned it on. With a snap, the treasure that can reflect the original body of the three Ginchen impact was smashed in half by the golden stirrup stick. The plaque of the South Heaven Gate was made of ten thousand-year-old diamonds, but it could not be as hard as the golden stirrup stick. That is a precious treasure that can cause death, injury, and physical damage to the fullest. There are not many items in the three realms. After smashing the plaque to vent his anger, Sun Wukong looked around at the lifeless soldiers and let out a cold snort. My grandson is not as shameless as your heavenly court. I disdain taking action against the weak. After speaking, Sun Wukong looked at Chiyu. Master, this is the south heavenly gate of the heavenly court. Today, I plan to die in battle in the heavenly court, but Master's body is mortal, so you don't have to go through this muddy water with me. Chiyu looked around and heard Sun Wukong say so. It doesn't matter if I shrug my shoulders. How can I put on the airs of a senior while running away? If I'm scared, how can I be your master in the future? Watching Sun Wukong and the monk named Master disappear, all the soldiers around the South Heavenly Gate were instantly resurrected. Oh, you're pretending to be dead. What a coincidence, you're also pretending to be dead. Yeah, yes, the same outfit. The soldiers looked around, feeling a bit awkward towards each other. The monkey is fighting again. Yeah, yes, now that the South Heavenly Gate has been broken and the plaque has been smashed, why don't we find some bandages and wrap them up? It can be considered as the loyalty of the Heavenly Court. The soldiers of the Heavenly Court discussed for a while, then broke off their weapons one after another, creating a scene of experiencing bitter battles. From now on, 
there will be more storms in the heavenly court. The soldier looked at the broken south heavenly gate plaque and couldn't help but let out a little sigh. Mind him, just be alive. Chapter 10 What Can a Monkey Do? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Above the Lingxiao Treasure Hall, the Jade Emperor sat upright on the Nine Dragons' throne, wearing a precious pearl canopy and a supreme treasure robe from heaven and earth. He stared at the heavenly palace fairy dancing below, touched his beard, and nodded. Take a sip of the imperial wine and watch the fairy dance the startled swan below. It's truly amazing, as a great man would do. Another dull and boring day. Taking a sip of the imperial wine, the Jade Emperor felt a bit ethereal. After all, the three realms had already been established, and apart from being driven out of the table five hundred years ago, who else could make him lower his head? Looking at the new rolling shutter general next to him, the Jade Emperor's eyes twitched slightly. The previous rolling shutter general was beaten and found an excuse to fall into the mortal world. In fact, the broken glass cup was already broken, and no matter who touched it, it would break. However, the heavenly court needs to share the fortune of this great calamity in the western journey, so it is necessary to send a person from the heavenly court to travel. The rolling shutter general, who is honest, reliable, and has never made any mistakes, was selected by the Jade Emperor. Poor rolling shutter general, but for the sake of the heavenly court, what is a little effort worth? I believe he can withstand the punishment of flying sword piercing the heart once every seven days. The Jade Emperor stared at the dancing fairy, but his mind was full of wandering thoughts. One thought of the rolling shutter general who was caught up in the journey to the west, and the other thought of how heavy the calamity of this great calamity was. Report The South Heavenly Gate has been broken, the plaque has been smashed, and the Growth Heavenly King has been knocked away by that demon with a stick. Life and death are unknown. A messenger soldier wearing a silver helmet and armor panicked and arrived at the center of the main hall, his rapid tone revealing nervousness. The dancing fairies looked at the messenger soldiers in surprise. Although the fairy music was still playing, they didn't know if they should continue dancing at this moment. Humph. What's the panic? As long as it's not a monkey, I don't care about any young people. The messenger instantly shook the soldier. The one who came was a monkey with a furry face, thunder's mouth, and a monk's robe. He also wore a bald head, a nine-ring tin staff, and a golden robe. Ah! Upon hearing this, the Jade Emperor's wine glass fell onto the table and the wine spilled all over the ground. Hurry up, hurry up and call the other three heavenly kings, as well as the Tota heavenly king Li Jing and his three sons Neza, to escort me, the second prince Xianqing Jinjuan, to the heavenly court with my warrant. The Jade Emperor hurriedly wrote the dispatch order, but after thinking it over, he felt it was still not very reliable. I quickly wrote another dispatch order. Go to Dudu Palace to find the Supreme Old Lord and make sure he comes with a diamond bracelet to escort him. Go call Tai Bai Jin Xing and tell him that the monkey will repeat the old story five hundred years ago. Come quickly. Send Wang Lingguan to the Lingxiao Treasure Hall again, bring me all the heavenly soldiers and generals, and surround this place in groups. I don't believe this monkey has three heads and six arms. When I see what this heavenly court is, come and go as I please. After distributing the order, the Jade Emperor finally breathed a sigh of relief and waved his hand as he watched the dancing fairies in front of him, letting them disperse. Last time I was beaten by Sun Wukong in the heavenly palace, and this time I have become familiar with him. The people I am looking for are all familiar with Sun Wukong. This time, the strategy is still the same as last time, with the third prince and Erlang Jinjuan facing the enemy head. On. The Linglong Pagoda of the Tota Heavenly King Li Jing is ready to trap the opponent at any time, coupled with the diamond bracelet of the Supreme Lord Surprise Attack. Ensure that Sun Wukong kneels down within the three moves and honestly escort him to the lower realm to obtain scriptures. Outside the Lingxiao Treasure Hall, Chiyu and Sun Wukong had already been killing along the way, mainly because Sun Wukong was too skilled in fighting. 
A golden cudgel was swung like a wind and fire wheel, and the heavenly soldiers and generals they encountered were hit hard and injured. On the contrary, Chiyu didn't punch a single punch, as if watching the excitement, as Sun Wukong gradually approached the Lingxiao Palace. These heavenly soldiers and generals saw that Sun Wukong was unstoppable, so they followed suit. Sun Wukong hit them with a stick, but before they could meet them, they collapsed into a mess. Before being beaten to death, let out a few screams. Splashing monkey, the heavenly court is not a place for you to be reckless, ah. Monkey, with me in front, you cannot take a step forward. For the sake of heaven. Ah ah, some soldiers thought that Chiyu was easy to bully and wanted to pick up a soft persimmon and pinch it with their weapons. However, as soon as they arrived in front of Chiyu, they were punched by Chiyu and flew off to unknown places. Monkeys can't beat him, even this monk is not something that these little soldiers can handle. Let's play it. Numerous heavenly soldiers looked at each other and fell to the ground, unable to stand up or suffering serious injuries. Sun Wukong killed Shinto and didn't notice the actions of these soldiers, but Chiyu could see them clearly. Why is it difficult for the bottom to be the bottom? Chiyu's fist also regained some strength, only seeking to knock the person away, not to kill them. Just as Sun Wukong was killing all directions, a fierce general with a golden whip rushed outside the Lingxiao Hall. This person, like Erlang Jinjuan, had a third eye on his head, red hair, a face like a jujube, and eyes like fiery eyes. Monkey Splash, your grandfather Wang Lingguan is here. Don't be reckless. Five hundred years ago, I could have made it difficult for you to move forward, and today I am your iron wall, hitting your head all over. Sun Wukong's eyes turned red when he saw this person. Memories of his death five hundred years ago instantly stood up and continued to attack him. He was the one who stood in front of him in the past, allowing the Jade Emperor who had crawled into the lower table to escape, otherwise Sun Wukong, the Lord of the Three Realms, would have been able to sit down. Don't you see me? The Emperor takes turns sitting. Will he come to my house next year? Wang Lingguan, look at it. Sun Wukong raised his stick and hit others with seven or eight points of force. To fight this scumbag, he must give it his all. The two of them were shooting back and forth, but surprisingly they couldn't distinguish. This made Chiyu, who was watching the battle on the side, couldn't help but marvel. After all, he followed his disciple Wukong all the way into the heavenly court. Although there were also experts along the way, none of them were Sun Wukong's all dot in point one generals. Chi Yuduan became interested right away. Outside the Lingxiao Treasure Hall, the entire heavenly court was in chaos. However, over time, Totally, who had been ordered by the Jade Emperor, arrived at the scene with his three sons Neza as the first, followed by the three heavenly kings, the Supreme Old Lord, and finally the Erlang Xianqing Jinjuan from Guanjianku. After several people arrived, they nodded to each other and then looked at the two fighting people without saying a word. Although Wang Lingguan's strength is not bad, he is still inferior to Sun Wukong. As he was about to lose in the battle with a cup of tea, the third prince Neza was urged by Li Jing to enter the battlefield. Xianqing Jinjuan, why don't you join in too? Let's quickly suppress this Liao and not let him become reckless again. After all, the last time we caused a big disturbance in the Heavenly Palace 500 years ago, it had a very bad impact on the Three Realms. Li Jing, the Heavenly King of Toda, looked at the monkey being entangled in a fight and thought for a moment before saying to Erlang Shen, the trouble of the demon world turmoil that is happening one after another is caused by this monkey. Erlang Shen actually disdains the way many people fight against one person, and this kind of combat style is somewhat contemptuous to him. But in the heavenly court, some things cannot be decided by him. Silently nodding his head, he led the howling dog and planned to quickly take action against the monkey that had jumped out of nowhere. Five hundred years have passed, hasn't he learned a lesson? In front of the heavenly court, under the rules, what can a monkey do?